you know, hops are definitely an agricultural product, which a lot of people may not think about when they're drinking beer. My name is Ryan Triggs. We are at Kansas Hop Company in Ottawa, Kansas. Today we're picking for some fresh hop beers. You know, growing up in Kansas City, there's not a lot of fresh hop beers that are made around here. It's just a completely different flavor and aroma profile. Total, there's probably 10 acres of hops in the whole state out of 100,000 probably in the country. Fresh hops, green hops, wet hops are all kind of interchangeable terms. The majority of hops that are used throughout the year are picked, dried down, processed into pellets for storageability. But this is kind of a once a year type thing where they can use you know super fresh ingredients that were just picked. So we've been growing hops for six years now and we try to get on par with industry standard of what people are expecting from larger farms in Europe, in Australia, in the Pacific Northwest. So this is called the Wolf Harvester. Our four main varieties are Cascade, Comet, Chinook, and Columbus. I guess the most sustainable thing is just our location and cutting down what we call beer miles. Most hops are shipped on a truck or in an airplane and a lot of brewers can either come down here and pick them up fresh or we can deliver them. Just kind of keeping the supply chain as short as possible. So, you know, within just a couple hours of being harvested, they're going right in the beer. That can only be done this time of year at harvest time, so it's a pretty special, unique thing uh, that we're able to do with local breweries. Once Kansas Hop Company got here with all the hops that they harvested this morning, we took those hops and we put them in our mash tun. And so by doing that, we essentially create a big vessel where we can steep the wort back onto the hops. And that allows us to extract all the oils and everything that we want out of those hops to get the character. And then after that's done, we will transfer that into a fermenter and then add our yeast and then we ferment all of that. And then it turns into beer. It's a really niche thing. It's not, this isn't what hops are commonly used for. They're a really expensive product. So. You know, it's in our best interest to source hops that are well taken care of. That's it right there. <laughs> And this is the end result of our collaboration with Kansas Hop Company, Fresh Hop IPA 2021. We used the Comet and Canuck that Ryan grew at Kansas Hop Co. Our blend was a lot more Comet heavy and we're really happy with how it turned out. We get really big notes of strawberries, papaya, and I think overall it just, it really complements everything that I look for in fresh hop beers. In addition to some of the like tropical and citrus notes that he was referring to, like there's this kind of like fresh cut grass, like earthy herbal resinous. Due to our growing season here, it's extremely hot and humid and uh, it can be pretty grueling, but to come back a few weeks later and try the beer just makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm.